Clearview AI Facial recognition technology is a controversial topic, and for good reason. Clearview AI's technology allows law enforcement to upload a photo of a suspect's face and find matches in a database of billions of images it has collected. In an interview with Clearview AI CEO Hone Tun that Hone Tun that said, We've scraped 30 billion images from platforms such as Facebook. The images were taken without the user's permission. The company has been repeatedly fined millions in Europe and Australia for breaches of privacy, but US police are still using its powerful software. Police use of Clearview puts everyone into a perpetual police lineup. While the use of facial recognition by the police is often sold to the public as being used only for serious or violent crimes, Miami police confirmed to the BBC that it uses Clearview AI's software for every type of crime. We use Clearview AI's system about 450 times a year, and it has helped to solve several murders. However, there are numerous documented cases of mistaken identity using facial recognition by the police. Robert Williams, for example, was wrongfully arrested on his lawn in front of his family and held overnight in a crowded and filthy cell. The technology's alarming rate of inaccuracy when used against people of color has led to the wrongful arrests of multiple black men including Robert Williams, an ACLU client. Civil rights campaigners want police forces that use Clearview AI to openly say when it is used, and for its accuracy to be openly tested in court. They want the systems to be scrutinized by independent experts. The use of facial recognition technology by police is a contentious issue. While it may help solve crimes, it also poses a threat to civil liberties and privacy. Ultimately, it's a fine line between using technology to fight crime and infringing on individual rights, and we need to tread carefully to ensure we don't cross it. Facial recognition technology is a central concern in the EU's proposed AI regulation. The proposal has been released but will need to pass consultations within the EU before it's adopted into law. What do you think about the use of facial recognition technology by police? Let us know in the comments below.